Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make extension methods in C Sharp. Um, before I explain what the exp extension method is, I just want to point out the project we're working with. It's just a Windows Forms application. It has a, te it has a text box, a button and a label. All you have to do is type in a number in the text box, click the is odd button and this label will show you, will tell you if the number is odd or even. So I've actually read the code for this already. Um, well one way of doing it anyway. When you click on the button it gets the number from um, the text box. It checks if the number is odd. Then it um, tells the label what it is. Uh, this code is fairly easy to read here, but if you, have a, if you have a large application, this could get really messy, really fast. So what I want to do is eliminate this line of code by using something like any num, oops, caps lock, <laughs> num dot is odd, which does not exist yet. So it it only has um six uh, methods. Sorry which is no help to us for at the moment. So, what we're going to have to do to create a extension method is create a new class. And this class has to be static. So we go public static class and we'll name it math util And um, we'll create a static method in there to check if a number is even or odd. So we go public static int is odd. And you will the input for this will be a integer, so I int Oops. Int number. Oops, sorry. The return type of this is not going to be int. It is going to be a boolean. So in uh, public static bool is odd. Okay, and it is going to return what we have up here. It will return if it's odd or even. Return and there we have it. That's a static class that we can use to check if the number is odd or even. But that is still not a hell um extension method. To make this extension method, sorry, um let me just explain what extension method would look like. When I type in num and the num is of a type integer, I should be able to go dot is odd. I should be able to do that, but we can't do that yet. So, to do that, we just have to put in one word in the um, <laughs> in the parameter, sorry. So it will be this int number. That's what we need to do. This is now a extension method for integers. So wherever you see an int variable, you can use this method on it. So now we can get rid of this and get rid of that. Now we can say num dot and as you can see here there's a new method here. It's got a slightly different icon from all the other methods. This is just to say it is an extension method. As you can see in the description also, it tells you that it is a um, extension method. So we'll go num is odd dot to string. And this will basically do the same thing as before. So 1 is odd, 2 isn't, 3 is, 4 isn't. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.